Hi everyone. So today I'm going to show a simple ServiceNow L1 support triage agent. And it is actually very easy to create in N8. And that's why I'm showing it over here. Uh, so first is uh, a chat uh, uh, block that you can add. You can make it public. Uh, then it will provide you a URL, which, which you can like uh, talk to it. Uh, or if you don't want that, uh, you can have a text classifier. The text classifier basically divides. So whatever user is sending you. So why I'm used it because I want to like classify all those uh, requests into three parts, either incident request, everything else. Uh, you can divide it into more like HR, legal, whatever you want. Okay. And you have to define each one of them. So for everything else, I thought that uh, something which is not related to request or incident, uh, that will go in everything else, like knowledge search or something. So for incident and request, I've directly sent, uh, I mean, I'm creating the incident with that short description directly. And for request, I've created a service catalog, uh, general request with one variable. You can add more variables. So it will submit this catalog using service catalog API. Okay. And the last one is everything else. Uh, for this, I have created an AI agent, which um, has uh, search capabilities. And uh, you can just simply search with it and provide means. Uh, so it will search, web search. It will do a web search and provide you the answer. And finally, um, whatever will happen, uh, the summarization chain will basically summarize all those requests and provide the like result. Now, if I'll say uh, my... VDI is slow. So as you can see, it is it created an incident for that. And uh, final uh, request was um, uh, incident was submitted with the issue. Uh, the agent reviewed the incident and decided to proceed with inquiry. It's that it added a little bit. I've not added a lot of hallucination. But you, you see, the incident number has been created. Now, if I'll say, uh, can you give me access to to uh well i had to write the access to adobe but uh, as you can see there is it just like divided um uh, means categorized that it is a request and immediately sent a request and the request number uh, has been logged in so even if i have not written that there's what access i need it went into uh, like request branch now let me ask something like uh, what is the latest release of apple Now you can see it it went into uh, everything else branch and uh, then it provided in the response of the year the latest release from Apple are iOS version 18.6.1 iPad uh, iPad OS version so it did the web search for this now as you can see over here uh, this is uh, like a very simple chatbot you can create it more uh, verbose you can make it more uh, detailed like uh, it can do deflection it can do knowledge uh, rag and all those things if you want to know how an A10 can do knowledge a rag on uh, service now then you can check my other video i will share the disc in uh, the link in description okay thanks everyone and also if you want to publish it uh, this video uh, i mean this url you can just make this uh, publicly and you can make authentication as well and once you'll open this so if i'll open i have already opened it here you see uh, it is uh, the chat is already there you can even embed it I have shown it in the other video how to embed this. So you can use that even. So instead of calling now virtual agent or now uh, I mean service now virtual agent, you can use this uh, web chat uh, as a virtual agent on your system or in service now portals. Okay. Let me know if you have any questions. Thank you.